Uganda strides within the information and communications platform now requires expeditious undertaking in policy and private sector incentives towards emerging tiers. However, Uganda still lags in some of the indicators that are crucial for a successful industrial revolution, such as technology access, usage, and preparedness. In this case, we call on the government to provide incentives and enhance access and to minimize distortions such as taxation which discourage ICT uptake. Dr. Esra Zuruma, the head of delivery unit in the office of the Prime Minister, also says that with trading under the African continental free trade area, set to commence in July, Uganda has got some homework to do. What remains to be strengthened in Uganda's readiness to benefit, benefit from new and existing market opportunities under AFCTA, pursue policies that promote economic diversification, encourage and protect innovations by both residents and non-residents alike, but with a sharp focus on domestic innovation. Dr. Suruma also advises that the current impasse between Uganda and Rwanda, for instance, needs to be resolved quickly. I don't want to underestimate the difficulties because they are there. Currently we are having some political disagreements with some of our neighbors and some other neighbors like South Sudan are having serious political problems. But I think within the context of regional cooperation, it's probably better for them to have these problems within the context of regional cooperation than otherwise. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.